Okay, let's learn another method to solve non-linear equations of single variable numerically. And this time the method is fixed point iteration method. So given a non-linear equation f of x is equal to 0, where f should be a continuous function, this non-linear f of x is equal to 0 can be converted into the form of x is equal to some g of x. So this is the idea behind fixed point iteration method to fix this x. So instead of solving this f of x is equal to 0, we are interested in solving x is equal to g of x. Now after converting f of x is equal to 0 into the form of x is equal to g of x, we will start an iterative process to find the root with some initial guess x0. So after doing some iterations, we will eventually reach at a fixed point which will satisfy this equation x is equal to g of x and eventually we will find the point x which will satisfy the equation f of x is equal to 0. And this process is called fixed point iterative method. Okay, we have to repeat this process again and again until we find the root. So the stopping criteria will be if f of xi at some xi in absolute sense is less than tolerance, then we will stop. Or two consecutive values of x repeats up to some desired dps, which mean their difference in absolute sense is less than tolerance. And the third one is relative stopping criteria. So let's explore this method by solving an example. So the question is given a nonlinear equation, this thing. Now this thing is my f of x because f of x is equal to 0 is a nonlinear equation. And this f of x is a nonlinear and continuous function. Use fixed point iterative method to find the root of this equation. Correct up to four decimal places and this four decimal places will define my tolerance which is 10 raised to the power minus 4 use x naught is equal to 0 as initial guess this is the restriction of the question so we first must convert f of x is equal to 0 into some x is equal to g of x form for this first i wrote the equation now i want to isolate the x for this this equation can be converted into form 5x is equal to 2 raised to the power x plus 2 and finally, I isolated the x by dividing the 5 on both sides. Now, this guy on the right hand side is my g of x, which I will use in fixed point iterative method. Now, my fixed point iterative method formula will be xi plus 1 is equal to g at xi, where x0 is equal to 0 for first iteration. So let's start the iterations and iteration number one, I will put i is equal to zero simply in the main iterative formula and I will get something like x1 is equal to g at x0 where x0 is defined as initial guess. So I will put this initial guess into the g of x which is this thing 2 is power x plus 2 divided by 5. So g at x0 will come as 0.6 and this is my x1 now in the second iteration i have to utilize this x1 to find the x2 so i will put this in the g and i will get x2 in the next iteration for i is equal to 2 my formula will look like this and in the g i will put this x2 to get this x3 and I will do this iterative process again and again and I am converging toward the root and you will see in iteration number 6 I get 0.7322 I fix the calculator to 4 dps because of the tolerance restriction and in iteration number 7 you will see that my root repeated up to 4 dps so because of the absolute stopping criteria of two consecutive roots, I have to stop. And this is the fixed point. And this is the root. 
Now our next goal is to develop a MATLAB code of this iterative process, which is very easy. So I have to open the MATLAB first and I'm opening a new script file. And here I will write the code of fixed point iterative method. For fixed point iterative method, first I have to collect my ingredients. So you can see in the ingredients, the first thing I need is the G, the function after isolating the X, the function on the right hand side, that would be my G. X naught as I initial guess, I need the initial guess to start this iterative process and I need the tolerance for the stopping criteria and I need the number of iteration if I am using the for loop and I am going to use the for loop in this code. So the first thing I will do is I will start a loop for i equals to 1 from number of iteration which are stored in small n and I am ending this loop. Here I have to write my procedure. For this I am opening a document and I am going back to iteration number 1. In iteration number 1 I find x1 by computing g at x0. So here I will write x1 as g at x0. That's it. I found the x1. Now what I do in next iterations is I use the previous computed value in the next iteration. Like you can see in iteration number 2 I am using this x1 to compute x2. And then I am using x2 to compute x3 in the next iteration. So what I will do inside the loop is I update the x0 with the computed x1. And you can see in the next iteration my x0 will be the previously computed x1 and my new x1 will be computed from the updated x0 you can see. So this is it. This is the code of fixed point iterative method. Let me run this code. For this I am saving it as fixed point ok so first I have to write the function. Uh, I have to enter the function to run this code. So I am entering this function this g function g is equal to 2 raised power x plus 2 divided by 5. So it will be like at the rate of x. This is the method to input the function in the MATLAB. Uh, at the rate of x, 2 raised to the power x plus 2 divided by 5. So I entered the function. I am entering the initial guess which is 0 in this case. You can say you can see and then I have to define the tolerance which is like 0 0.001 or 10 raised to the power minus 4 and number of iteration I am giving is 20. Okay, so you can see I got the x1 0 0.6 and then 0 0.7031. You can compare from here 0 0.7031 then 0 0.7256 then 0 0.7307 0 0.7319 and finally 0 0.7322 0 0.7322 and 0 0.7322 is now repeating so I found my fixed point in other way uh, I can say this like I found my root. Now I can make this code beautiful by using two things. The first I can use the fprintf command here like I am seeing on the screen x and then percentage %d. Percentage %d will be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only decimal numbers and this percentage %d will come from this i. i is the variable of loop it will only get the values 1 2 3 4 5 and something like this and then equals to will be displayed on the screen and then percentage 0.4f is fixed sing the uh, this x1 to 4 dps i can change it like 
6, 8 or 10 to increase my number of dps that I want to see on screen and this backslash n is changing the line so let me run this code again and let's see what we will get on screen and here I inputted the function initial guess tolerance 20 iteration See, you can see that I am getting the answers like x1, x2, x3, x4 up to x20 since they are 20 iteration. Now, the next thing I can do in this code is to use the stopping criteria to stop or break the loop when I get the root. So, my stopping criteria will be like if absolute value of x1 subtract x0 is less than tolerance which is stored in E I have to break the loop so you can see at this area this point I am having the latest value in x1 which will be computed in line 7 and of course I have the previous value at in x0 since I am updating the x0 after line 11 so this is the area where I should use the stopping criteria like I have the previous value in x0 and the latest value in x1 so let's run this code again 0 10 raised to the power minus 4 number of iterations I am entering 100 iterations and you can see the loop stop after 7th iteration because my root repeated up to 4 dbs. I can also increase my tolerance to see my root correct up to more dbs. And I ha also have to modify the fprintf command for this. So I, if I want to see my root correct up to uh, 10 dbs. So I am writing 10f here and I will enter 10 raised to the power minus 10 in the tolerance and I am entering 100 iterations for example and you see in the 16th and 17th iteration I found the root which is correct up to 10 decimal places. So that's it. That is all about fixed point iterative method. See you people in next video. If you are new on channel, please hit the subscribe button. Bye bye.